Happy Thursday, Bronco Nation. Let's dive into the world of sports right now. Leading off the UCO Bronco baseball team, look to add momentum to a Tuesday victory against Northeastern State as they host a three-game series at Wendell Simmons Field starting tonight at 6 p.m. The Broncos face the Emporia State Hornets, who sit at 15-17 and 17 on the year with a record of 6-11 and 11 in MIAA play. The Broncos will play the Hornets two more times tomorrow at 3 p.m. and Saturday at 1 p.m. To the other diamond, the ninth-ranked UCO Broncos softball team is looking to match the Undertaker's WrestleMania winning streak at 21 games. The Broncos have just one home series at Jerry Pinkston Stadium this weekend, facing the scrappy Newman Jets, who sit at 14-18 and 18 on the year and 2-6 and six in MIAA play. The doubleheader starts at 2 p.m. Broncos Rowan is back in action Saturday morning at the Oklahoma River in downtown Oklahoma City. They're battling local rivals Oklahoma State and Wichita State. The Broncos look to continue momentum they made in Seattle last weekend at the Falcon Regatta, where they won two races against the best teams in the country. Good luck to them this weekend. Bronco track and field are on the road again, deep in the heart of Texas as they prepare for the Clyde Littlesville Texas Relays in Austin, Texas. The Galloping Broncos will be competing in three events. Uh, Ja'Kayla Swanson will compete in the 100-meter dash, as she'll, and she'll also compete in the 4x100 and 4x400-meter races. Best of luck to them. The Thunder were back in action last night, taking on a Houston Rockets team that's won nine straight. SGA was out with a quad injury, but should be back soon. But the highlight of the night was Isaiah Joe, who sent Jeff Green into the retirement home last night. What a poster by Isaiah Joe. Do you know what he had for breakfast? Duncan. What a play by Isaiah Joe. Made my night. Next play, uh, Jalen Williams to Josh Giddy with the floater splash. Giddy had 31 on the evening. Teleported the fourth quarter closing minutes. Jabari Smith, three, takes a lead for the Rockets, but Jalen Williams said, not so fast, my friend, with this three right here, splash. But in overtime, unfortunately, the Rockets prevailed thanks to Jalen Green in this three-pointer right here. He had 37 points, 10 rebounds, and seven assists as Houston won 132 to 126. The Thunder will be back in action on Friday, taking on the Phoenix Suns in the Paycom Center tomorrow night at 7 p.m. And finally, Major League Baseball is back. The 162-game marathon begins today, and there are so many storylines to watch out for the season. Here's just a few of them. First off, the Los Angeles Dodgers spent a lot of money, again, and signed Shohei Otani to an already star-studded roster as they look for another World Series title after a disappointing NLDS exit last season to the Diamondbacks. Next up, the New York Yankees acquired Juan Soto. How will he help in the Yankees' first World Series quest since 2009? The Braves and Phillies will continue to be a storyline, as the Braves have won the NL East the last two years, but have lost to the Phillies in the playoffs both times. I expect this rivalry to heat up again this season, as the Braves will look to bounce back and avenge their losses to the Phillies. And finally, your reigning and defending World Series champion Texas Rangers look to repeat with their big bats of theirs in Marcus Simeon, Corey Seager, and El Bombi, El Dolis Garcia. Mark Georgia, this MLB season is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see the Rangers play. What do you guys think? Uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I don't keep up with like the major teams, but I do enjoy watching baseball, and it looks like they're having some some good some good games this year. Absolutely, Ian. I got a question for you as a fellow mm -hmm. Rangers fan. Yeah. I'm excited, you know, I'm still celebrating from November of last year, but how many wins do you think we're going to get this year? We lost a couple players, but we're also coming back strong. What do you think? My honest hope, I, ho I hope we get 90 again. I think the Rangers have the bats to do it. That rotation, a little shaky, but with DeGrom and Scherzer coming back, there should be no problem, and the bullpen's in a better spot as well. I see no issue, and hopefully the Rangers could go back to back, and we're celebrating again in November. Hey, absolutely, man. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for that, Ian. 